Hi, I'm Vaughn with uh, Innovate Green Builders, and as part of our kind of home maintenance uh, video series, I'm going to explain how to maintain your sump pit and pump. Uh, in all the houses that we build, uh, typical of Philadelphia, they'll have a basement, which is below grade, and whenever you're below grade, there's always the risk of groundwater infiltration. So what we do to combat that is we put in this water management system, which consists of a stone bed underneath the, the basement slab, and in that stone bed is a perforated drain pipe that goes around the perimeter of the basement uh, and then into a sump pit. On top of that is a sheet of polyethylene plastic and then uh, your concrete slab. So if any groundwater comes up from the ground, it should make its way into that pipe and into the sump pit where it's pumped out into your drain. The same goes for if any groundwater uh, goes and gets and makes its way into the foundation wall. It shouldn't because our walls are damp proof from the outside, but if it does, at the exterior, it'll hit that spray foam that we've installed on the inside, make its way down. Uh, we leave a little gap in the slab, between the slab and the foundation wall, into that gap and into the pipe, into the sump pit, and then out. So what you have to do to maintain this is actually not really that much. I talked to Zeller, the manufacturer of our pump, and they said that there's really not much maintenance required at all. All you have to do is uh, exercise it every now and then, make it run. Otherwise, the seals will dry up and they'll get brittle. So what you can do is either pour, pour a big bucket of water in here, or you can kind of get in there yourself, and I'll show you how to do that. We have a few things that go into here. We put the condensate from our tankless water heaters, and also the condensate from the air conditioner system into here so that um, it fills up every now and then and runs the pump. Uh, what I'll do is this one I'll need to pop off. There's a coupling here. I'll have to glue that and we're done. And this is just kind of a locking system. So you slide it and you pop it off like that. And you see down there all you really need to do, you see the two pipes from our under slab drainage system go, uh, going into there. You see the pump, some pump down there. What you can do, uh, sometimes there's a little bit of construction debris that gets down there or something gets down there during the course of your, your day. You can clean that out. We try to clean it out as best we can. Like I said, you can either pour water in here or you can reach down and grab the float and just pull it up and just run the pump a little bit and then I would pour more water in there. So once you've done that, if you vacuum this out, clean it out, we'll just put this back on, like so. We'll lock it. I will glue this. Actually, I'll put a detachable coupling at some point. Put this back up into there. And then what I'll do is I'll tape this uh, because it should be airtight just for uh, an indoor air quality um, reason. You don't want any, any of the gas that could get it that in, that, into that pipe to come up through here. So I'll tape this with some zip tape, which you can get at Lowe's. Now that the sump, pump, sump pit lid is all taped up, we're pretty much good to go. In the future, to exercise this, uh, maybe cut a slit here or lift up the tape and add and uh, add some water in there. I'll just leave kind of like a little little flap there. So just pour some water down there, exercise that pump, and that should be it in terms of maintenance for this. Thanks for watching.